Hi, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankam Architect channel. It is very easy to install AEM jar. All we need to do is just copy paste the AEM jar and its license file into one folder and just double click on that jar and AEM will open. But the frustration actually starts when AEM doesn't open as expected. So what are all the issues which we can face while installing the AEM jar is what we are going to discuss in this video. If you are liking the videos which I am doing, please subscribe to my channel and please hit on that bell button so that you will get notified whenever I do a new video on AEM development. Let's get started with the presentation. So these are all the various issues which we might face while installing the AEM jar. In this video, I am going to go through all of this one by one and I am also going to tell you how to install the AEM jar also if anyone newly is coming onto this video. But if you have already installed the jar, if you are coming onto this video to know how to debug certain issue which you are facing, then see the serial number here and skip to the relevant uh, issue number which is given in the description so that you can directly see the solution for the issue which you are facing. So let's go step by step and understand all of these. Okay, so how to install the AEM jar? First, you need to go to your folder wherever you want to install this uh, AEM author and publish instance, right? You need to go to that folder and create uh, such a root folder called AEM SDK. You can give any name you want here. Okay, so just uh, give that name and then create two folders inside it. One is for author and another is for publish. Okay, so first is the root folder AEM SDK and then inside that author folder and publish folder you will create it. And you need to copy paste the AEM jar and the license. And if you observe the naming convention, right? So this naming convention for AEM jar is very important. So it should start with AEM hyphen the environment name. If it is author, you give it author. And if it is published, then you give it publish. And P stands for the port. And you give on which port this uh, uh, AEM application should be listening on to. So here we gave 4502. So that is the port number uh, for AEM author. And 4503 is a port number for AEM publish. So we need to copy paste the jar. Uh, it is the same jar basically. It is the same jar. We will copy paste twice and then we will rename one as author and this port number and another one as publish and this port number. And just by this naming conventions, one will become author and other will act as a publish. So the point we need to remember is the same jar will act as both author and publish. And uh, just by giving the naming conventions properly, AEM will know uh, which instance we are acting upon. So once you copy paste it into the folder, it looks something like this. So you, you will have to see this uh, icon, which is a jar icon, uh, coffee and saucer icon, basically uh, the Java icon. And then here is the license property. So that's it. And all we need to do is just double click on this jar and AEM login page should open in the browser automatically. So for the first time, it will take certain time. Uh, so when you are installing it for the first time, it may take around 15 to 20 minutes. So uh, we need to be patient and little wait for a while. And uh, if it opens fine, you can uh, log in using admin and admin user ID as admin and password as admin. So this is default user ID and password. But if it doesn't open, then uh, we have the issue and we need to start debugging. So let's see what all issues you could face as part of this AEM installation. So first issue number one. So the issue number one is Windows does not recognize the jar file. So ideally you need to see the icon here, uh, which is Java icon, right? But, uh, but sometimes what happens is uh, once you copy paste this jar, you will see something like this. So it's just a file icon, which means that Windows is not recognizing the jar files. So then the issue could be uh, that you haven't installed the JDK. So one of the prerequisite uh, for installing this AEM is you should have installed the JDK first. So how do you know if you have installed the JDK or not? So just open the command prompt and type this command Java hyphen version, Java space hyphen version. And you need to see the Java version printed here. So if this is not printed, then you haven't installed the JDK. So what you need to do is uh, you will have to 
go into this uh, uh, link here i'll give the link in the description also just go to this link download the jdk and install it first and make sure you are restarting the system after the java install because some of the environment properties and uh, other things will not take effect unless you restart the system sometimes so make sure after the installation of the jdk you restart the system once and then try it again okay so this is one of the solution so now issue two now let's say you have installed the jdk and then you come into this uh, command prompt and type java version now and now at least uh, since you have installed the java you should see this version number getting printed and then if it is still not getting printed then it means that there is some issue with the environment variables so you will have to go to the environment variables and set the java path okay so how do you do it so just uh, open the search uh, button from your taskbar and then type environment so here you get the edit system environment variables like this and then uh, you will have to click on that and this uh, pop-up will open and click on the environment variables uh, button here okay so then this tab will open inside it go to the system variables and double click on this path okay and then this will open okay here if you see you have this c program files common file and java java path right so like this in your system also there should be a java path set okay if not this you should have at least c program files java and then uh, java path or something like that wherever you have installed the jar right uh, wherever you have installed the java right so that path should show up here so if it is not getting shown up here then what you do is you just click on this uh, new button and then add that path here into this and click on ok and close this and again restart the system once you do all this okay so then go back to the command prompt once it is restarted and then uh, see if the uh, java is installed or not so just do java hyphen version and now at least uh, this uh, java version should show up like this so if it is still not showing up then you still have an issue with uh, jdk you need to take some help from internet or your friend and try to fix the jdk issue first okay so this version number has to come up then coming on to issue 3 let us suppose you have done the install okay jdk install and you see java hyphen version then you you see that uh, version number getting printed but still you don't see this java icon coming up here okay it still appears uh, it as like this and when you double click it will say uh, open with it will give you command as open with and it will ask you to choose some applications okay so if it is still happening like that uh, then what you do is you just open the command prompt and try to run the AEM from the command prompt So this is the Java command which we need to give to run AEM through command prompt Okay, so open this command prompt in the folder So you need to go to the folder in which your uh, jar is available So CD to that folder and then type this command Okay, Java minus jar and give the AEM jar file and that should start the AEM uh, server and it should open it in the browser the login page okay so this should have happened happened okay so after doing all this let us suppose this is not happening then what you need to do okay so this is the issue 4 so what you need to do is so you have given here uh, the command this command you have given and it gave this that uh, press ctrl c to shut down the quick server so once you see this what should happen is it should open a browser and it should show the login page like this okay so if you are installing again for the first time you need to wait for a long time for that to open uh, but then ideally it should have uh, opened the browser and shown this login page where you can enter admin and admin here right so if this page doesn't open so you have seen that here it is saying that quick start server has started and it is saying press ctrl c to shut down so it is giving like this but yet it hasn't opened the uh, it hasn't opened the AEM in the browser so if that happens then what we need to do is it might be the issue with the jdk version okay so you need to open this particular uh, link the link again i'll give it in the description so and you need to see which version of the AEM you, you are using and what is the compat compatible JDK for it. So if you are using very latest version of the JDK then sometimes it may not work. 
so always see the stable jdk versions or else to be on safe side choose these versions only so make sure you choose the right versions of the java so and then uh, again you you need to try you need to install the right version uh, either you downgrade or upgrade the existing java version jdk version and then see if that works okay but one thing you need to take care is you, you need to actually go into this control panel uh, programs and program features and then uninstall the java version which is already installed this is very important so this is how you you need to uninstall it so you need to select this java which is installed and then click on this un uninstall button to actually uh, uninstall it properly and next what you do is you also clean up all the environment variables which are related to java okay as i told in earlier uh, you go to that path environment variables path and then uh, you delete all the java related paths which are available okay so then again download this uh, uh, proper version of jdk and then install it and then uh, it should work let us suppose you have done all this and then also it is not working so then what to do then we come to issue 5 okay so then what we do is we open the uh, logs okay and check so if you go to this path right author uh, here if you go to crx quick start and then logs you can see the logs here so std std error and error log so these logs you check it out okay and then you see if there is any out of the memory issue okay if there is this issue then you can execute these two commands so one thing is you can increase the size of the memory here we're using this command so earlier we used java minus jar and gave the jar path instead of that if you give this command 1024 is the memory size which is which it is allocating for this agent to run okay so like that you can increase this memory and try it out once if it works and if it is still not uh, solving the issue you can take the heap dumps uh, using this uh, command so once you execute this uh, command uh, it should generate the heap dumps uh, and, and it will point out the exact class which is throwing this uh, error and based on that you can take some relevant actions okay so this is other thing which can which you can do and let us suppose still after this it's not resolved then we go to issue 6 okay so you see this one this uh, quick st uh, start server uh, and control c to shut down it you have seen this uh, message but still uh, the login page hasn't opened okay then issue might be everything is fine and also you have checked the logs and there is no issue logs are clean and there are no errors uh, apart from some errors like this right uh, there are no other errors which you are seeing in the command prompt also if everything is clean then it might be the issue sometimes that it will throw this message but it cannot open the uh, browser because of some access issues so all you need to do is just open the browser yourself and type this uh, url inside the browser okay http local local host and the port name so if you type this url uh, you should be able to see that login page so even after you have done this if you are unable to see the login page then we go to this issue 7 which is uh, the port may be unavailable okay you are using the p4502 right so this is the port number 4502 is the port number so maybe this isn't available and that is why aim is unable to start so just try changing this number to 5000 or something like that uh, 6000 610 or some some number you change it and try to see if this aem is opening okay so after you have done all this even then if aem is not opening then you come to the issue 8 wherein you will have to change the sling properties okay so just uh, go to the author and crx quick start so once you double click on the jar it should create this folder which is crx quick start so inside that you will have a config folder con folder and inside that you will find this link properties okay so open this link properties and as per the instructions given here follow these instructions and uh, do whatever replacement they are asking you to do okay so to for more detailed instructions you can uh, refer to this url okay i'll give this url too in the description box okay so follow all these uh, instructions and then you should see the am coming up and even if after doing all this if am doesn't work then it is a very bad luck unfortunately and then 
the only option left is that maybe your jar is corrupted so please contact the person who has given you the jar and uh, take it again and then try to reinstall it again that's the only option left hope this video has helped you and if you are interested in aem development uh, videos please subscribe to my channel and also please hit on the bell button so that you get notified whenever i release a new video thank you